Joined now by the driver of the number two car for Team Penske, Brad Keselowski. What's going on, man? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you guys. It's good to be on. I always love having you on CSL. So first of all, let's talk a little business and then we'll have a little fun. But we got to <laughs> talk about Hendrick Motorsports because everyone right now is saying they are the team to be. But you look at the standings, man. Team Penske has three drivers also in the top 10 and all three of your drivers have wins. So are you guys actually being overlooked right now? Yeah, I think we're kind of the, the quiet. Uh, we're, we're the sleeping a little bit. Of a, I don't know if Giants are right there, but we're kind of sleeping and, and that's OK. Uh, you know, all three of our cars have wins are locked in the playoffs. Uh, but we don't necessarily have the speed that Hendrick cars have, and I think that's what everybody's looking at is how fast those Hendrick cars are. Well, we certainly got to look ahead to this weekend. The all-star race is in Texas this year for the first time. Do you like the changes that NASCAR makes to this race every year? Carla, this is a great year of change for, for the sport. We're trying new things to keep it fresh. Uh, and Texas Motor Speedway, like you said, has never had an all-star race. You know, usually it's either in Charlotte or if you go all the way back to its roots, even Atlanta. So as uh, the races have moved around, I think that can sometimes be fun for us. It certainly is, uh, you know, the spice of life, right? That little bit of variety. Uh, and hopefully we can capitalize on it with the win. Uh, selfishly, that's really all I care about. All right, so let's have a little fun right now. You recently had a chance to ask a question on Jeopardy. So any chance you're putting your name in the hat to be the next host of Jeopardy? Ooh. Ooh, I hear Aaron Rodgers has that a lot. <laughs> I think you could beat him out for um, it. Come on. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, having a little runoff with, with uh, A Rod, uh, the other A Rod, I guess you call him now. But uh, he's pretty good. He's a smart cat. So I don't know if I can uh, keep up with him. I probably will stick to my day job, but you never know. All right. So, possible Jeopardy host. We know you're a NASCAR driver by day, but the other title that you hold that we know is dear to your heart is a girl dad to two adorable mm -hmm. daughters. Scarlett, your oldest one, kind of getting to the age where she understands a little bit more about what dad does. Is she getting into more racing? What do you call it, the Father's Day school card? They ask her, what, what does your daddy do? And her answer is, he's on TV. We haven't quite gotten to understanding that he drives a race car for a living. I've tried the go-karts, but uh, so far the answer is, I don't want to do the go-karts unless I can go slow and have a pink sparkly one. It's going to be a trendsetter. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Well, you did say your daughter Better, says, yes. all I know is you're on TV. Well, we see you not just on TV racing, but you're in the booth with Fox. So what's the best part about doing that stuff? And, and what's the hardest part about trying to do what me and Carla do and being on TV? Oh, like yeah. The, the best part is uh, people take care of you, man. You all got guys for everything. You know, there's a person that you know does the makeup and the person <laughs> that hands you something to eat. They even have ice cream. Oh. up there which is awesome I, I didn't know that you all were living a life of luxury over here no we, we had a good time with it uh the preparation work that y'all put into doing this tv stuff is uh way more than i probably gave credit for so hey, you all you all study like we studied for a race you studied for broadcasting and uh, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of credit to that and we'll wrap up with this one brad you want to break some news on csl for us tonight you want to let us know what the future holds for brad kislaski uh, I can promise you I will be driving a cup car in 2022. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the simplest form right there. Yep. We appreciate your time, man. Good luck in the All-Star Race. Good luck the Thanks. rest of the way. We'll talk to you soon. Appreciate you.